Indescribable, yeah, I know. It, it happens all the time. Everybody all right now? Yes, too to be alive. I tell you the truth, that's, it is. I was seeing the news. I, I put out a, well, I sent out, I ain't, I ain't found out the information. Apparently they shot, what, four or five people in Washington, D.C.? I, I ain't hear the rest of what happened in Metro City of uh, Washington, D.C. Nothing should alarm us or surprise us anymore. Uh, Uncle Lancaster said, I guess you sent it me first out of her and sent that other information about the neighbors now, man. What happened about the doo doo on the wall? So we had to clear it up. She probably said, she said, I'm going to make some my information. She said, she said, oh, I'm going to send you the email now. We already searched it out, but that's true about uh, um, Newton County School. Little kid had a uh, monkey pox. Then uh, um, Saw Pong sent me, I sent y'all one about the dog had it with the rainbow flag around his neck. Had a little rainbow, uh, what's it called, that thing around his neck, scarf around his neck. He had it. No need to wonder how he got it. Everybody know how he got it. It was close skin to skin contact. Know exactly how he got it. They, they had the dog real in the one of them sick homosexuals. You know how it happened. And, it, and it's sad, you know, that the kids having to deal with it, and they got shut down in school. You think how many parents are going to send their kids back? And the kids suffering. You know, COVID enough, because once you find out the school, they got in the school, you just about got to shut something down almost. You know, then that's killing the bus drivers. That's the lunch people. I mean, it's, it's affecting a lot of people. And they got to deal with some that, you know, the, the COVID thing, people can't help on a lot of ends. It's a part about the monkey pox can be stopped. All they take is homosexuals just stop being reckless. All together, I mean, shouldn't be doing it anyway. And now just wrap yourself up in aluminum foil right. and leave the edge of pointing forward. <laughs> Isn't that right? The best way to have that best advice I can give you. You aluminum foil and leave it pointing forward. Because you let go on each other. I want to cut each other up real good. So just for safety precaution, I really see them skinning and cut all up to get these kids their monkey pop. It's just terrible the fact that we said now I saw a new new report. I don't know why they, these white people irritate me with these comments. I'm just, I don't know why they talking about the monkey pox and all that gonna affect more brown and black people and homosexual. Don't put us in it. It has nothing to do with us. I don't know why black people ain't picked. I don't know why we included in it. How you picked us when we told them it's a gay disease, now it picked out a race. Now it's gonna be Hispanics and black people. We the major people gonna be affected. That's a lie. No, it ain't starting no Africa. It's starting in Africa. White people vaccinated black people in Africa with it. I've been told UNICEF, I don't mess with UNICEF. They see all that little junk to my send money. UNICEF and United Nations. Don't crack I got more money than I got. I ain't got a dime for them. How many of y'all know about UNICEF? Don't know, didn't know what it stood for, though. That's United Nations stuff. They raise up money, try that day for kids. That money go in their pocket. That's whole money. That money you to go to Africa and, and call itself vaccinated people. Don't ever trail white people with vaccination. Why they don't vaccinate over him? Every time I, the African, I blame Africa for being so stupid. Yep. Now, I came to you one time and shipped you off on a boat. We the, we the product of the last time they came to here. I don't know what you taking them on here for. I don't feel bad for anybody ever, you that dumb, you taking some of these white people, you getting what you deserve. Yep. Look at us. Yep. We, ain't we can't get ourselves together for nothing. That ought to be enough made people don't even want nothing else from us. So I'd be like North Korea told South Korea, he offered to help them out during the pandemic. He told him, shut your mouth. <laughs> told him to shut his mouth. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I don't blame that man for his people over there. And they tell me, oh, he got his people living how they living. His people live worse than that. They take something from these people. Yep. See, that's that, that how they make it. They make you like a monster. He's not a monster. He's trying to protect this country. He already know what's going to happen to him. Soon they come coming out, they're going to have a gay rule. They're going to come in there. They're going to have the women beating the men. And the best thing to do is leave it just like it is. Yep. Leave them alone, I guarantee North Korea, everybody else can thrive. They're going to go ahead and they want to break Russia up. Once you let somebody come break America up and let the nigga loose. Same stuff they're doing in Ukraine. Why don't argue? Why don't argue? We need to break a loose. Come help us liberate over here when we're trying to help Ukraine. Give us $90 billion so we can break away from you. Isn't that right? I'm the truth. We don't need no truth. Give us $90 billion so we can separate. They don't want to, they'll help anybody than you. Ukraine don't need to do nothing but carry behind right back to Russia. I don't feel sorry for Ukraine. I, feel, I, I don't know how you can feel sorry about when you're in the worst condition they ever been. They still on the news. They got weapon, gun, food, everything come funding. I don't know what the folk crying about. Isn't that right? They got folks in Ukraine. Listen, they interviewed people in Ukraine. They'll tell you a lie. Them folks said they want Russia. They, when they took Crimea, they told the folk they, they, the people wanted Russia. They told him they came. They said, you can't protect us. They're like, Russia, the only one can protect us. So the people want to be under Russian rule. Yeah. They always tell you, let all the dumb black niggas want to be under America. Let them stay where they at. Yeah. Let the rest of us go separate. Yeah. 
We could be right here and separate. You have your own. We do bidding. I'm not against. We could do bidding with white people. We ain't got no bidding under them. It don't make sense. It don't make no sense to be on no more white root. White root destroyed us. Hispanic needs somebody to rule there. Let the nigga have somebody to rule there. We're a different kind of niggas. We'll get different kind of niggas to rule them. I ain't got time for all that arguing. I'm a di- give, them, give them a different kind of nigga then. Whatever you need. Give everybody their own little rules so everybody learn how to do business. Leave yeah. folks alone. You know, I hear them get tough. Get in your own yard. Yeah. That's the best way to enter. Where you stay at? Old folk can tell you. You and somebody, where you stay? I, get home. Yeah. You know, old folk, they tell you quit. They want to know where you stay. Yeah. Up the street. Well, you need to get home. You rolled off. You ain't telling them grown I ain't going nowhere. You expect them grown folk. You going nowhere. You held a good. Get on out the street. Yeah. You ain't go home. Get out their face. Who remembers stuff like that? That way, don't grown folk tell you to get out there and let you know. Get on where you belong. Best way to end all that fight. All these folks want to draw on stuff, these gangs, put them somewhere else. It ain't hard to stop them. They funded by the federal government. Any fool know that. They can pick all they can pick a nigga out from anywhere. Go steal something. They can find you, track you down. You can't track a crip in the blood. Come on. What they in incognito? You can't track a MS, the, the bastards all got their names on their face. How hard is it to catch the hell's angel? What they do, what they got the name wrote backwards on the jacket? They ride motorcycles. This ain't hard. Why are you looking for people driving Novas and Cadillac Seville's? None of these people hard to catch. They funded by the government. I don't know why people are so stupid. All these people funded by the government. Ain't no way in the world them gangs still keep living. All them got undercovers in them. It don't make sense they existed. They need those people. Those people sell drugs. Those people, listen, those people devalue neighborhoods so white people can walk in and buy them and they move them out to other neighborhoods and then they take the price back up. That's another way of getting you out by the hands of your own people. That's why I'm for the so-called Negro going out on the street and the Hispanic, brown, everybody. We need to go on the street. We need men. We don't need to, we need men. We need to go on the street. We need to go out to these boys and the girls and let them know we love you. You ain't got to do this. Right. You ain't got to be out in the street doing this. We need to take these kids home. Right. He said, no, what the police going to do? Ain't no, the police ain't got time to run here and have no conversation with them. The police come to shoot, kill, and rescue. That's it. Right ticket. Stop looking for the police to come do something. This is our fault. We done ran our mouth by the white man and sister, and we scared to get out here our own kids. Yep. I'm telling you, you take enough men out here, it make a difference. Who got here and tell her straight, listen, I come do it, I came to give you a hug or give you this belt cross your behind. Which one you want? It's time for you to go home. You've been out here too long. And then we need to get these kids. These kids need something. Kids need attention. They need jobs. They need education. Don't just go there and get them. We got to take them somewhere. We got the money we mess up with holes and cigarettes and drinking beer, buying lottery tickets. We an institution for our kids. The nigga waste more money than he gonna ever use, he gonna ever save up. Buying stupid stuff. And don't own nothing. Don't own nothing. Nobody never educate us to do better. I know they'll put on one or two people. I'm working on a program I'm trying to get started. I ain't gonna talk about it much because I mean, I'm still in construction stage. I got some folks that already agreeing and say they'll try to help you get going. We'll see what they're gonna do though. I'm gonna hold everybody to the fire on doing it. I don't need no police involved. That's a job. We got to do it. We got to sit down with our own people. This is the thing you got to realize. If we can't talk to our own people, don't look for nobody else to do it. And we can't get none agreed with these kids and sit down with them and let these kids know where we all stand and, and look at their situation, hear their calls and hear their end, and then try to change it. Don't look for nobody else to do it. I ain't looking for the white man to do nothing I wouldn't do. I ain't put the time in and do nothing with them while I'm waiting for the white man to do it. Oh, that's it. Let them, yeah, let, let, put all on them what they need to do. We hadn't done it. These kids was abandoned by us first. We were so big trying to hold. Mama's trying to run and hold, made more kids, drop them off somebody that run the street. Now the kid that looked and realized whoever raised them, you ain't my mama. Now somebody that tell you, you ain't my mama either. And somebody else ain't their dad. I ain't seen you. You ain't my daddy. So the kid feel like nobody in no position to tell them nothing. We got to get our kids back and let them know we love them. 
It ain't just the black kids. There's white kids out there lost too. I need white fathers. I need black fathers. I need Asian fathers. I need all of them. All, all of them abandoned. It ain't just one race. Everybody abandoned these kids. These kids been abandoned. Why are we messing around? Daddy want to go be a faggot instead of be a man. Yep. Say, here I watched the, uh, that, it was a, I don't know what it was showing. It wasn't Gainland. It was some prison. We used to come on, uh, show. Scared what? Scared what? Say it louder. Scared what? You ain't scared to keep repeating. You don't keep asking the wrong answer. I thought he'd be scared to repeat the third time now. But I wasn't scared straight. That's way too old. You weren't even living on things when that came out. You couldn't have been living. That came out in the 70s. Yeah, you couldn't have been living. That had to been like early 80, late. Late 70s was scared straight came out. Shoot, we wouldn't even know what he even thought about by then. Man. What, you born 86? No, no. You wouldn't know nothing about it. You saw that on YouTube. Yeah, that'd be on straight YouTube. It'd have been blurry. But, um... No, they had one, they had a, a black man on there, so-called Negro, and uh, he was, you know, talking about prison life. He was in Alabama, and uh, he married kids. He done got a, he done a turn faggot. Got to tell the kid he want to marry the guy who banging it, the guy Hispanic who banging it. Now, look at this joke. And did I mention he was a pastor, too? Man, he was sitting there talking about, he looked, listen, he was talking about he did the guy toes, everything. Said he said if the state of Alabama let him say he'll marry the guy. They interviewed the guy. The guy said, the guy said, I ain't no sister. He said, I'm just doing this in jail. I said, boy, you a sister. Yeah. You can't put your pickle in no man behind it and change your status. Boy, you a sister. Yeah. Oh, the guy, he said, no. He said, no, no. He said, no. Nah, nah. he, he said, no, he ain't doing it. He just got all about watching his draws and doing it told like that. Joe Black, he said, I love him. He said, stay out of let me. He said, I'm marrying. This man a pre. Yo, kid. You finna tell your kid you finna marry a, you want to marry a man, you a homosexual? Man, that's sick. I said, boy, that's sick. Man, you don't let your kids down. Everyone, these women too, rather be a, a bisexual, whatever they call themselves, old cock eater. They're wasting time. They let your kid. Folk fail their kids, man. That's what got me. You fail your kid. Oh, that's all right. They're gonna take time. Yeah, so that's how it is, though. Really, you look at it, man, it's just terrible, man. Folk don't care about people don't, don't even care about letting their kids down. Ain't no standard no more. People don't worry about being no failure, no more stuff. Man, I, I prided myself on, don't, didn't want to be no failure. Didn't want to be no disappointment. Didn't want to let my kid down. Didn't want to let my family down. That don't matter today. These niggas do that now. They give you some kind of award or something now. Since there's so many failures now. That's why, I really, you know, I'm hard on y'all. I'm hard on my men. I'm hard on y'all for a reason. Because I care and I know what your potential is. You downgrade yourself. It ain't even a system. We downgrade ourselves. The possibilities are endless for us. If we just apply ourselves and learn how to go at things the right way, the first thing it is to get your ground and get your footing, okay? You'll never see nobody on the ground trying to pick nobody up and throw nobody. First of all, you ain't got your footing, you down. Get yourself up and learn how to stand like a man. Get your direction. And then all that happened for me is getting your creator. Get yourself in function with your creator. A lot of y'all, you'll look like you got it, but you... You really ain't, you really not focusing home then on what you need to focus on then. Being a man, is, I mean, man, listen here, man. Uh, listen, especially being a black man, listen, this is a great opportunity for you. Because, I mean, people don't look for us. People don't expect nothing from us. And we got the ability to do it. That's why we got to show up. I'm making my business show up and be somebody. Listen, I don't drop my head. I don't care how many white suits and suits on. I wear, I wear a sweats and shirt where I want to go. Them crackers ain't buying nothing I can't buy. They don't tell me what to do. That don't bother me. I ain't got to wear no suit, no tie to jump up and look like somebody in front of people. I know what I'm doing. I got proof is in the pudding. And I try to tell y'all, being a man, this is a job right here. We need more of them. And y'all to be proud to be one. Isn't that right? Paul want to ask you all the time, I'm a man. I mean, we need more of them. Y'all listen. And, and then, this is what you don't realize. There's no, white, there's no white man out here by himself that done nothing. This is us, though. I'm one nigga. I don't need none of y'all niggas. I'm doing it all myself. Nobody ever made it by themselves doing nothing. This ain't happen. You need help. You need help. You need to learn how to use and utilize. How you think? One white man came to Africa and took on? White folk trapped us. White folk made friends with us. White folk built boat. White folk navigated the boat. White folk locked up the nigga. Ain't no one man, white man. They, they worked together to do that. That's strategic. White man made the gun. Another white man made the gun battle. Another white man sold and with the women helped make the suit. They women were involved with it. These folks sit around and keep blaming the white man. The white woman just a treacherous. Yep. So, he couldn't help her by himself, folks. I mean, we so see that your your fight, 
you know, you don't even understand your plight. Too many things work, too many elements work against you. You keep thinking she's softer. She is the one that motivated him. Why you think the nigga had no motivation? The black woman don't motivate the black man. <laughs> Please, no. Every time she see a nigga, it buy something. You want some sex, buy some, pay for some. Everything I'm putting, nobody don't live for you. Nobody don't do nothing. She, she encouraged that man to do what he was doing. She pushed him to do that. Okay. Y'all sit out here making food shoes. She manipulated the black woman. She made her take that chocolate titty and put it on white lips. She never gave it everything. But, you know, nigga ain't got no brain. He'll fight me, hate me. White man hate me, too. And I don't blame him, hate me. If I was you, I'd hate me, too, because I'm a nigga ain't stupid. I'm a nigga ain't begging for nothing. I ain't a nigga ain't with my hand. I don't blame him. Hate me. Hate me with everything you got. Bust your heart hate me. Because that's what I stand for. Tell the people the truth. I don't talk in no cone. I don't whisper on my brother saying that. If it ain't right, you ain't got no business saying it. That's right. I don't do that water cooler talking for what? How, what I got to say, that's just what it is. They don't cut their tone. They want to say now. You hear, when you walked up and you heard them whispering, no, don't like it, need to go back to Africa. Or go back where they came from. If you don't like it, need to go back where they come from. Folk be all that talking, they don't like it. Now they complain about the president. Go back where you came from. Go back to your carcass mountain cave. Joe Biden ain't did nothing. The rest of them white boys ain't done. All of them F up something. Tell me, show me a white boy they got ain't messed up. Every hand done touched the plate been messed up by the hand of a white man. Every white man ever had an offer been incompetent. Give me one been competent. You know how dumb you got to be to collapse a business with free labor? You know how stupid you got to be that you go out of business with, with slaves? You know how much the wages of a slave is? Nothing. You made one payment when you bought. They so stupid. They talking about the food and clothes and put them out. Where, what is, where you were taking that nigga? The DNK? <laughs> Where you taking a men warehouse? Where you take a nigga slave to get his clothes? That nigga got stuff you don't even wear no That's more. Right. That's, That's too little for him. That's right. What the nigga eating steak, caviar, and lobster? Garbage. The nigga eating the garbage from wherever you got. That's how piss poor of a business man white folks are. They terrible. They ain't never tell them to give me one they best white man they got. And I show you, not one of them been successful. Nope. They've been successful in y'all eyes. That's right. What you think he gonna write if he tell this story? He your enemy. What you think he gonna write? I can barely make it. I don't know what I'm doing. I lie a lot. What you think his story gonna say? That's gonna be about you. And you bought the hype for yep. it. That you were incompetent, you didn't know what you were doing. I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my time. I try to encourage the black man to get his head together. Start thinking more of yourself. I, some of y'all to y'all just drag too much. Just everything key. Just, I don't know what it is. If I had that, it would have been took me out. Let me tell you something. No matter how many obstacles he set, listen, he had nothing that's going to stop me from being Tony Smith. It's just not going to happen. I have my mind set and made up to know what I got to do. Every day I have an agenda. I never let him change that and let me put my mouth somewhere. He might put a distraction. He will never stop me from what I'm trying to do. My mind made up to do it. I told y'all, what happened with y'all? You can't see yourself doing it. If you can't see yourself doing it, you're not going to do it. You got a picture, you got to see it, then you got to put it into play. I ain't talking about laying up on your head just with no dream. You got to get up and you got to institute it. You can do it. It's, listen, I know what y'all come to this level. I know what you could do, but a lot of times you just, I don't work with people, I'm doing my way, and then, do, do, do. you've been doing stuff your way, that's why you need help. Get some help so you can start doing it your way. Your way been failure. That's just being honest. How many, been, how many of y'all done did well by yourself? Don't feel bad. Because nobody has, neither me. I had neither. It's impossible. And you know what? He got us now where our plight, we so drunken and so mad and raged to get some, we just, we made everybody our fight. The white man realized he has set himself up and made allegiance with people. That's how he's made. That's how he survived. Trump, look how you these people. You think, man, Trump, listen, he, he stole, the first election shouldn't have got him. When I say stolen, all of us stole him. They stuck him in because whoever the, the who bees are, that's what they did to throw a monkey wrench in the system. He got him, got too big for his draw, and they ran him out. And he knows, he knew he was finna he fin lose everything he had. He did not have the money to pay his debt. He can't pay, but he's bad about paying his debt. He's a terrible businessman. And anybody got sense to look the stuff up, they'll see. The man is a terrible businessman. They went on here, and he used all this drama, and he got everybody up paying his debt. And he looked successful. He a con man. He's making all them rally moves. He getting people elected. 
He's not worried about getting him elected. They are paying him to do that. That's why he show up at every one of the rally. They are paying his legal bills. Now you ask yourself, what legal bill? He never been, he not been, he hadn't been indicted for nothing for Georgia, for calling on the phone saying, hey, I need 11,000 or something. What, what the vote's here? I need, this is clear talk. Why, what's the problem with indicting him? You're talking to the secretary of state who's certified, telling this man to go in and find some vote. This ain't no kind of like we need to investigate. This, the man recorded himself. Are you pressuring me to try to make me get some votes that ain't there? That you are the one pushing the election lie. Yeah, we got an investigating guy to see. He paid the right people. He read allegiance. He know what he's doing. He got all them here building no toothed white folk who will shoot at anything. Squirrel hunters. You can't, anybody support Trump ain't got a brain in here. And in fact, he incompetent. He's an idiot. The man's a complete idiot. It makes no sense. What if the man, these folks in their mind think the man has done nothing. The man's a failure. All they got to do is tell me once the self a bidding he got. Just give me one of them. When you crash a casino in the gambling capital of the world, you're an idiot. That's all he does. He get business in, he talk height, he get these dumb people to follow. He don't give a flying flip about nothing. That little crumb money these folks claim they got in their check, tell them to show it to me. Say, go show me what you did with it. The folk who got the money from, ta from, from Trump tax rate, they put millions in their pocket. They put billions. These dumb niggas made my check $30 more dollars a week. Is that what your claim to fame? Could you give poor people something? Make them think they got something. You think if he gave you 30, what you think he gave the rich folks? $30 too? <laughs> Nigga dumb. He got poor white people. He got to get them something. Poor white people shoot. Poor white people ain't got, when they come out that trailer, they ain't got nothing to live for. They ain't got no front door or back, and no back door. They ain't got nothing to live for. Kids never wore shoes. They ain't nothing to hear Billy Crockers anyway. Ain't got but one tooth in their mouth. They ain't got nothing to live for. They are careful. They ain't got a brain. They just go by whatever they man say. All these people crooked. From Democrat, Republican, all of them crooks. Independent, Libertarian, a Green Party, you know, listen, all of the same people. They the same devil. All they do, when they don't get what they want, they run to another party. They make you sit still. You can't never lead nothing. Only party you can go to is the house party they give. Nigga can't lead party going to well. White folk control it. White folk don't like you. Say they make another party. One but two. And they don't realize all the mother party broke out, they the same people. Yeah. They just, but see that how they like when white folk don't want their way. They tell you to stay with some, stop complaining. How you think you get all these parties? Ain't but two, Democrat, Republican. When they come to president, how many times you had the chance to vote for an independent? Ain't but two parties. All them folks just break off. They cry baby when they don't get their way. They run off somewhere and they make up a party. And niggas run off and think they small and they come up with a new slogan. They go and repeat everything. They repeat everything they master tell them to say. They ain't got a free thinker in their mind. When do you think white people are going to give you something? This is America. This is America. America, this, listen, these folks got more allegiance to Rome and Italy than they'll ever have to you. <laughs> these niggas don't know that either. The man that came here, America Vis Pusey, they told you Columbia came. Why is it not called Columbia? They're not an Italian. I don't know why these people in their mind would think these people don't. Latin still dictates and rule. When you run up there and you read over the top of that court and on that man's stand and on that warm top, that is in Latin. That's not in no Colombian. That's not in no Spanish. That's in Latin. Hello? Okay. That's what I got to do. Listen, these folks, they put on your money. They put it everywhere. Why people play with you? They keep them Roman noodles. Soon that football come around, what number them is? They gonna write Super Bowl 34 up there, 43? It's coming Latin. Yep. They know where them games come from. All your arenas, Greek and Latin. Yep. But the nigga so dumb, he don't know no better. He don't know no better. These people, listen, these people sub, still subservient these people. They'll never let it go. They just play you for a fool. Everything they get, they stole from somebody else. Yes, sir. The whole little Statue of Liberty stuff, stole that from somewhere else. Everything they get. That's why all them immigrants come over here. Come through North, they see that statue. They know what they expect them, them Italians. They know what they're doing, these folk come over here. The nigga, the only one don't know he ain't got no place. Yep. Yeah, no place him. Do like, do like our uh, forefather, our, our great, great forefathers and uncles did when they thought, when they felt like they had no part in Daoud. Yep. Let them see to their own house. They said, we ain't got no part in it. They said, see to our own. It don't make sense. 
We've been made a fool of so long. These folks desecrated, disrespected everything. One white man get beat up on TV. We ain't, why nobody ain't asked for the first 60 seconds of the video? Right. Right. Them, uh, them police automatically been suspended. Yep. When somebody want to get whooped up, get shot, when they get suspended? Man. Oh, they ain't got to talk to them. They don't have to, they, the union reps step in. Mm -hmm. Union reps say they got 48 hours, 72 hours for they talk to anybody. Them jokers are already off the jaw. They know the they move. They know the name, but that was a white boy here. They were slamming on that ground. Yep, yep. I ain't saw no white folk come out hollering. He deserved it. Right. Shouldn't have been a criminal. Right. You didn't know he was in the store spitting on folks, spitting on the folks and everything. Oh, Should have had that neck broke. That's right. But y'all know he white, you can't say that. Yep. See, when they're dumb, it's always justification and reason and rationale. They can move quick. Why are we rushing the judgment? I ain't judging them police officers. I don't know all the facts. Ain't that right? Why would the police do that? Why would they do that if he didn't do nothing? That's right. That's right. That makes no sense. The police are your friends. The police couldn't, if they did that, he had to do something. Then you find him not spitting on folk. Don't spit, cut the fool, criminal, all them charges are going to be white. They'll downgrade all that. Prosecutor be ready to cut a deal too. Because they're looking at him from the suit state. Oh, he's going to sue him. He's a white boy. That check coming. You ain't say he got a picture laid up in the bed. If you pay attention to his anger, he's taking a picture of himself. I'm so hurt, I need to take a picture of myself laying in bed. He know he finna get paid. They finna cut some deal around up for him. Black man get shot, get killed. We be fighting for five and ten years. He ain't gonna need no dunk. What that boy, Crump, that come out there, hop up. My, my, my pastor, Al Sharpton, and me, or him, and we gonna talk about I said, man, where he get that bubble up nigga him from him? Boy, you gotta know some good law, boy. You done sold out somebody. I can't see how that nigga can't get a sentence out of his mouth without his lip popping and bopping. <laughs> Woo! God the mighty. But you put his lip around some poles at a strip club, he finna get paid. Them things know they be clapping, boy. Them things, yo, 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 yo. That joker lip be twerking when he be talking. I ain't never seen no twerking lip until I seen that joker be talking. Woo, woo! Man, he's mad around get some panty put on his face and put it sideways. That joker getting raped. I'm telling you, he getting raped. That joke getting raped. I'm telling you that now. That joke gonna mess around and get a case of he gonna get a that joke gonna get a he gonna get a keg of monkey pop. He ain't gonna get no keg. They gonna be a keg. I'm gonna go woo woo. Boy, go and get some of that money, man. Cut them lips or down. Now I'm for our people too, but they ain't gonna lie now. We got some fat lip niggas now. Y'all gonna act like nigga lips ain't fat. I'm black. I'm not finna be saying be trying to tell them lies on them folk. Some of y'all got some fat lip. It's fat lip niggas in the world now. I appreciate these white folk with these little bitty lips. These little lips. No, no, I appreciate these little lips. They help out. Man, it take a lot of water to hold them lips and chapstick, them big black. Them big old chunked up lip. Well, that's a lot of chapstick, man. Got a tube for the top and a tube for the bottom. Some stuff white folk helped us out with now. They don't even tell a lot. They raised me and didn't do all bad now. They helped us. I ain't seen them African too, but they get them knots inside their head. I said, I don't, I don't know if they know how to shape their head over there. You do. You probably get a baby head in the shape. You can tell the difference now. You can tell. You probably get that head. You probably work that head. I get everybody to be so happy to have a baby. They just let the head go. You got to rub that head. Okay. They fall on You probably, I'm telling you something. You can't leave no baby head this stuff. That thing just come out of Bojana. Not like your wife a stripper. Man, that thing pop out of there, gonna pop out. You gotta mold and shake their head back. They be talking about God made it. He said, whoa, whoa. Whoa, slow down, whoop. Slow down. Creative be like, slow down. Isn't that right? You need to rub their head before you just start throwing it on me now. I'm fighting for the creator. Isn't that right? I'm thinking, put everything on me right now. I remember somebody told me, no, no. God made it. Oh, oh, man. Y'all slow. Y'all know. Y'all ain't gonna be putting everything on my all in. Some of these little folk got nothing. Y'all no, no, they're not gonna be putting on my all in. Ain't that right? Everything my all in made was tube and very tube. Wasn't no test either. Test tube, y'all don't get it. No way. Yeah. Yeah. All right, some of like test tube babies. So I'm in here, I'm in the fighting for the liberation of Alahim. And what he's standing for. I want to see people come together, all races and colors and creed. But I'll be honest, the so-called Negro need to have a conversation. He, need to, he, need to, he needs to adjust himself, get himself together. 
He does. He needs to set down a protocol. He had a strategy. He needs not to work. Cause see, when we sit down and talk with other races, it'll be and every other race need to do that. Cause you know what we need to do. We need to get the bickering and arguing. This is what happened though. This is the truth why I say that. And I think every race, cause soon as you get everybody together, it'd be hypocrites now. I say, yeah, I don't like white people. I don't, I don't want to be bothered with you. I rather not be bothered with you. Cause the the problem we got, it gonna take all of us. That's just being honest. I don't hate white people. I hate wrong people. Right. Whatever color they are, black, Asian, Hispanic, white, green, yellow, polka dot, I hate you. I want to be known, I hate you. I hate wrong people. Yeah, I think everybody has a right to equality and just an opportunity to make it. Chance for success. Why, why should it be another way? I don't, believe, I don't want all the top of everything. I don't mind everybody has something. You ought to be like that. What's wrong with everybody has something? See, if you set up, we had, that's why socialism came in. Hitler introduced, well, he the first Karl Marx came in, and he was considered to be a Marxist. Y'all familiar with Karl Marx? How many of y'all not? Well, he came up, Karl Marx is who they blame. They'll call you a Marxist. He came up with the program of socialism, where they believe everybody should have. That's not a bad thing. Your book teaches socialism. See, you have folk go to, go to church, go to your religion, all say they're so dumb, they're holiday Republican, whatever. The book is socialist. Wow, that's tight. You should have one man of law for one as well as the other one. That's why white folk want capitalism. They don't like equality. They don't. And they, what they call capitalism ain't you going out making what you want. It's you going out beating and lying and cheating people to get what you want. Then you sticking the debt on somebody else. See, white people made a fool. See, niggas, re I'm telling you, the work probably got niggas repeat what they've been told from white people. They ain't never made nothing. I know you ain't never made no money. You made job money. I'm not impressed with job money. Anybody go to work and go to work and make that. When you got here, you realize how it works. You ain't, listen, these white folk don't want you to have nothing. These, these rich crackers made their money from putting the debt on poor people. Don't ever believe these people. These white, ain't none of these white folks show you nothing. They pulled up by their bootstrap did nothing. That's, right. That's a lie. That's right. Tell them to show they took that bootstrap and put it in your neck. That's right. They took that strap off and put it around your neck and hung you from a tree. Yep. White folks ain't never did. Stop telling them lies. Never did nothing in their life. They ain't got nothing to claim to fame. You got some honest white people that go out here and do things. Like but the truth with every one of them, and the truth and not none excluded, they've gotten that because of color yep. and because people set things in place. But you just don't get nothing in America. You just don't pop it. America will let an Asian or let a Hispanic come here and they'll give them free medical. Yes, they'll get them monies. Yes, they'll get them license. You can't right. drive, no test. They'll do that to aggravate a nigga. Yep. They get that, cause they pull the fight out. Now, guess who my fight with? Yeah. How they come over here and get that? What, 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 what polling play? What, what, um, what you call it when you cross over the country? What you call them play? You go to the border, you go to where a Mexican, somebody walk in there and get there, print out their own license and print out their own Medicaid and welfare. White folk get them that so you'll fight them. Yeah. Yeah. And then what neighborhood? Know the way they don't let them come. They'll never let them come here and put them in Beverly Hills. No. Won't they mistake to put them in Buckhead? They always put them somewhere where we at, so now we'll fight for territorial room. Now we wind up kidding each other, and the white man sit back and laugh. That's a good investment. Now the eyes off him, who killing you? Me? You said I was killing you. All I did, I brought the killers in to kill you. Man, please, stop it. Man, stop it. This stuff's so comical. It don't even make no sense that my people are so stupid. My own members say when they be fighting me, and they, mind, I be, they don't know I can read all of them, too. Ain't one of them I can't read. They be thinking they're so smart. You read white people books. Yeah. All your information comes from white people. You ain't even got nothing. Yeah, that's right. You, you think I'm impressed somebody go to a job and try and tell me something that you don't got from these white people? Right. You can't impress me with that stuff. I made my own. Yeah. I had to grind. I deal with these white people. I know what these white people are doing. I know what they're doing because I see them do it all the time, our people. Our people just ain't got no brain, know how to work together. Get that white folk thing out your mind. They'll have you sitting here agreeing with them when they the one killing you. They'll make you think, I'm the one hate you. I want equality for everybody. How I'm the one hate you, I'm the one want equality for everybody. I don't care what color you are. Y'all think y'all have a right to have what you want to get. I really not give a flying flip. Man, I, used to, I ain't going to lie now. I used to be one of them people, oh, they come in, they take some. Let me ask y'all a question. How many of y'all live in America? How many of y'all can tell me an instance where a Hispanic person came up and took something from you? How many of y'all can give me an uh, uh, opportunity time when you were let go for one of them? That's what I thought. But you repeat what your master tell you. Yep. He let one of them go. It was to get a mess started with you and him. And you should have been mad with the one that let you go. Yep. That's right. Had somebody working with you brought somebody else in him That's for. Right. 
That's why I told y'all, if we were to learn to work together, what happened? Two men, four try to get to the top too fast. Slow down. I got him in here the same thing I tried to tell for him. Slow down. I'm going to have me with some of y'all. Move too fast. Jump too fast. Jump too high. Want too much too fast. You want too much whoop. Yeah. Want too much whoop. Slow down. Follow the plan I tell you. You can move to do what you want. I get niggas jump straight to him. They already straight to ceiling. You can't get to the ceiling. Start the flow. Start the flow and work your way up. First thing I had to learn how to do, follow. That's the first thing to do to lead. Follow so you can lead you home. And the second time we do, I teach you to work together. You can build what you want. That's the truth. Work together. You can build what you want. Bigger problem I got. Everybody try to talk. Try to all the place. That's all right. Try it your way. You better not get out there and fall, though. You better not fall and need no help. Because when you jump out on your own, you're a long gummy. You got to clean up yourself. Don't look for no help. It's on your own. You learn how to make a legion. That's how you move and get yourself set up. See, when you got a legion like white, why y'all think white folks look like, man, look, man, they ain't scared to go do it. How I'm be scared when I got every bank in the earth supporting me, giving me free money. Every bank on the earth giving me free money. Zero percent interest and then wipe the debt away. Well, a nigga jump out here, man, you got everything on the line. Your home in hawk and your marriage on the line, your kids, daycare, everything scraping the man. So the pressure's so hard on you, you're going to crash. First, how about by making a lead and say, listen, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm going to help you do what you're doing. Then you help me do what I'm doing. Then we got somebody, we build a lead. Then we get somebody, we help them do the same thing. So you can have that same confidence that you go out and you can do. Yeah, I know y'all don't think like that. You're just too busy trying to tap, pull, scratch, and tape. And get from here about what are we gonna tell y'all this? Cause I know y'all. I know y'all hard thing y'all to follow. And you don't know why you're in the condition you in. You thinking you see a path. I already know you don't see it. Put your salvation first. Put your salvation for anything. Y'all hear me? Ain't no dollar, ain't no car, ain't no house, ain't no kid. Get no precedence, old Mr. Yahoo first. That just gotta take the first order, anything I'm gonna do. Mr. Yahoo got to be first. That's just in line, whatever you're going to do. Because you get whatever you want, you can get right out here, and that could be your end. Right. There's a lot of people got a lot of what they want, and he like, and that's all you're getting. That's why you can't make this stuff your everything. But I don't, I don't know why I can't get it here. I know I, I guarantee if you go back and research it, where you at with him. Oh, yeah, I know y'all. This, oh, yeah, it's the truth. Where you at with him? I've seen, I seen the dumbest invention, dumbest, stupidest stuff. Dumbest idea, stupid stuff. And then you really go back and let's say, really, let's look at where you at really spiritually. Oh, yeah, I'm working on that. I leave the rest alone until I get that straight first. Because you get that and you ain't got that spirituality, you're going to try to come back and get it later. It ain't going to work. Because what the man told you, seek you, what was against him? Well, I ain't do that, but I'm going to start doing it now, though, since I got what I'm trying to get. That way you're going to mess up that. So I start, I let everything go. I had to move back in with my dad and everything. That thing hurt me too. It hurt me. I ain't lose mine. I walked off. I let it all go. I had to move in. I had to, to humble myself. And I ain't know why, but he, he had to make me humble myself first. He had to go back and do something you didn't want to do, something you didn't have to do. You got to walk away from it. You think I ain't struggle? Man, that thing hurt me. I ain't trying that hurt my pride. That, that man, that killed me. I was like, man, it killed my pride. But you had to kill that first. He looked at, I can't use it because that pride will come back up another time. I, if I'd have kept it and I said I'm holding and did a different way, I'd have had too much pride to move from Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of stuff, at the time you're going through, a lot of stuff you don't understand why. But you will fight it before you get time to figure out why. He got to mature you. See, a lot of them don't realize, man, that pride thing will hurt us. I wouldn't try to get no pride. I get my pride my salvation first. Right. I take pride in what I do because I, I do what I do, and I still keep my order in check. I know where, I know where my help come from. I know how I got to look to first, and I know one thing, I be ready to distribute. That's how I'm a little right. Above everything, I'm a little right. I ain't going to get nothing going to have me. I ain't got a little right because I got to get and I can't live right. I don't need it. I don't even want it. If I would do that, I could have stayed where I was out there. That's why I left what I had. Because I couldn't live right with it. That's just being honest. If I can't live right with it, I can't use it. You, man, I mean, you just got to try to balance it. Listen, I can't live right. I don't need it. I'd rather not fool with it. Come a time winding up. Same thing with y'all saying, your time winding up. Listen, a lot of stuff, man, he'll come and he do to you. Even if you feel like you're in a good place, you ain't never where you need to totally be because you're always growing. And I think things have to work on the side. Y'all cut the air on a little bit then. Eat mother getting, you know, your blood pressure high. 
Yeah, mine ain't either. I just want to check, make sure I went on one. <laughs> that little blood pressure thing ain't bad now. But, but the thing is, uh, we, we have to constantly be tested to make sure that no matter what we got or where we at, you can still transition. You can still adjust, and you hadn't forgot. Might be a while. You can go for a while, and you ain't got no correction. You ain't got some that correction come. You ain't the person you used to be. I ain't, I ain't about all that correction. So every now you got to make sure you still got that hold on you. It's even with a dog. People don't realize. How many of y'all ever had a trained dog? Know anything about trained animal dog? Anything? That's tight. Nobody had a dog now. One man had a dog. That's tight. What the rest of y'all had? Parakeet? <laughs> had a dog trained? Tip, tip of what people don't realize, even with a trained dog, you have to go back and keep going back over their training. They'll forget it. They'll forget it. You have to go back over it. Periodically, you have to go back and test the dog. Make sure the dog still keep those skill cycle. And what you do, you leave it alone and you don't keep trying it. That dog forgot that. That's old stuff. We ain't did that in a long time. So, Mr. Hood got to make sure you keep going over this so you make sure you remember. It's an order, and the order don't never change. No matter how long, how much stuff come up, no matter what you got going on, order don't change. Can't call you down, can't stop you. I'm going to come preach on the side back now. Man, when I lose, I'm just gone. Mr. Hood can't use you. Because he, he look at everybody, not just you for illustrate. Mr. Hood always looking for us to where I don't care where you at, what you're doing. Stop doing it. They hear a greater head that rule like that, too. I don't care what you had, how burn up. If I tell you something, you stay there and you burn, I get through. I'm just telling you, I fall well. Old people like that. Didn't it? You know, that one little bit, that, then again, it was for them. They want to make sure they maintain their order. Anybody had dads like they were strong? Listen, if the house burn up, I tell you don't move, don't move. You stand there and you burn. They put that kind of fear in you to make sure, and Mr. Hood want that kind of fear for you. Anything he wants you to feel more than anything is him. What you know we feel? Poverty. We feel being by ourselves. We feel sick and everything we feel. You know one person control all that. And get what he say. If you really feel it, then he say you'll feel me. Think about it. It's like, how many of y'all afraid to be somewhat like life support? How many of y'all afraid, like, just getting shot and killed? How many of y'all afraid of, like, being homeless, living on the street? How many of y'all afraid of being by yourself the rest of your life? There's some of all the best by yourself, just left to yourself. And get what he said. If you do, he said, feel me then. Because he's the one that control that. He's the one that dictate. All the stuff that we say, what we'll do, guess what I do? Because I feel being outside. What I do? Pray and do what now? Work hard, get more money. Work hard, get more money. So, and you know what he said? Then you don't fear it. Because your money never kept you from being homeless. You ain't going to believe this. If people make more money than you made and they're on the street, you barely making it and he got a roof over your head. Because he wants to just show you that. I assure you, we're never about the money. See, how are we going to know it? You know what we'll do? How many of feel being sick? So what we'll do? Take medicine, do things to stay well. And Yahuwah said, I'm Yahuwah, I heal all your diseases. Isn't nothing wrong with taking them, but he want to make sure it's enough fear toward him to where then you will feel me. All those things he said you feel, I control. I ain't saying me. He, he controls them. Everything we fear, one man controls it. Doesn't it make sense to how you come up with that? That's why he lose people at. If people would be him, but you know what happened? They don't wind up going broke. They don't wind up losing some stuff. Man, for what they will be him. It's the fear they got for things like that. They don't they don't realize everything they got. They never controlled it anyway. None I got out of control that ever did it. It's called, listen, they call it luck of the draw. Mr. Hood told you, he said time and chat happened to them all. The, he'll do that. And what, what, what we'll never get or uh, embrace in our mind is how we need to make sure we're right with this man. This is something daily I'm constant about. Night, I'm day, because you don't just take just waking up no matter why. You just realize I was reckless. I was reckless every time I jumped up and I just kind of went and then, you know, man, I I didn't pray in the morning. I just went, you know, you're up, you got to go. And you don't realize, son, if people get up, can't go nowhere. And he had it right here, let me know. I do that. He said, I do that. 
people shaking them, people trying to get them country, people trying to resuscitate them. He said, I do that. It's dangerous when you get up and you walk away and you don't realize, son, I control that. Oh, it's dangerous getting to going through the day and you don't consider. Whole time while you going. You know how I many folk done stroke that die? Where your mama died at? While she was at home sleep? At work. Man, you at work, you good. When you at work, you getting ready to go home. What you go, yeah, what y'all think? How many y'all been how many y'all go to work? How many y'all been at work thinking about dying at work? I think about no stuff. Yeah, work. You try to go and get your day and you can go home. I just use that for illustration. Didn't work like that. You know who do that? He said, I do that. I cut him off at work. I cut him off at home. I cut him off when he sleep. He said, I cut him off. I cut him off behind the wheel while they drive him. They could be jogging. They could be doing anything. Yeah, kid one kid on the treadmill. When you heard a treadmill, falling treadmill, people fall, I don't feel before him. I remember when I was running, I was, I was feeling good. I went and, and, and skipped my knee, hit my knee. I said, good there, man. Another kid ran, fell, I forgot who that dog hit, and the belt came out and caught in it and killed him. When you ever heard of that? Then you don't know who I work for then. You know what I mean? I'm on that treadmill running. Listen, going, and I, I'm, I was paying, feeling I was too comfortable, and I wound up slipping and hit. I said, goodness. And I skipped, and I was pissed. I was pissed. Kyle, I can't believe I'd done that. And you know what he did? He let somebody else fall, hit, belt broke, wrapped around and killed him. They had to let me know. You know what they come and let me know now? You still pissed. Yeah. Right. Right. I can make you piss. Right. I could let that belt came loose when you fell. That could, and you know, Phobie Holland, man, that was crazy, huh? Some freak accident. He said, I do all things. So I speak as a man, listen, I had to be humble. He keep me in a humble position. Even if I get things, I ain't above nothing. I ain't no fool. I know where my help come from. I know the same one give or take away. That man give you a mind to walk away. He'll give you a mind, listen, you can't leave if you wanted to. I ain't talking about this. Make, listen, if people out there, they want to leave that world. They can't leave it. And he said it that way. There's a lot of people. Y'all, we got people watching. Y'all don't know. Go back over the video. They can't do nothing. They can't do nothing. He ain't going to let them. Because they don't got themselves so sold in the stuff. You know, they got to live right. Listen, man. I want to be to my family. Who going to take care of my kids? How many of y'all in here just leave your kids? How many of y'all in here just leave your kids? All right, none of us would. Just walk up and leave your kid. And he put him in a situation like that where it's so tight, man. You know, we, of course we'll say what we'll do because you ain't got to do it. It's real easy to say a whole lot of stuff. That's, I'm glad y'all ain't just quit and just throw your hands up. Because your parents are a whole lot more involved. I ain't talking about no bad riding kid. I'm talking about a kid you love, a kid that's a problem, a kid is a pretty, fairly good kid, and you got to turn around. Man, your logic tell you that sounds stupid. It'd be different. My kid don't pull a gun on me. My kid don't try to fight me. My kid's stealing. I can't sleep. My kid's selling drugs in the house. Who ain't gonna, who, who ain't gonna walk off and leave you? I gotta leave you. You done made it where I hate you and I want you gone. We tell my kid don't sell no drugs, ain't in no game. Kid don't do respect and do what they do what they supposed to do pretty much primary. Walk off and leave them kid. Real tight. Real tight. And Mr. Hood gets some people in a situation like that, and he get them to logic to say, you know what? I just can't see the Lord want me to do that. That don't make sense. If I leave him, who's going to be there for him? He, I'm telling you, the logic that it makes sense to him. Don't make sense to him, Lee. Don't make sense to me. The stuff y'all able to do, to come and get up, you take lightly. Listen, you couldn't have did it on your own. You couldn't do it on your own. It makes sense. Don't make sense. Don't make sense to walk off and you leave a, a livable place, a livable business, and everything you got until you walk off to nothing. That made absolutely no sense whatsoever until he show you his logic. Right. That's right. That's you got to see his logic. To do anything he tell you to do, you got to see his logic. I'm going to tell anybody, I'm not a proponent for people dropping and just going and doing nothing. I highly encourage people, don't come, don't call, don't even watch, because it ain't for everybody. I'll be the perfect to tell you. If I were them, I wouldn't do it, simply because I know where they at. I'm not there. That's why I'm doing it, because I'm not in their position. I wouldn't do it if I were them. Don't even waste your time trying it, because he'll try you for everything you got. Every, listen, you ain't going to have a spot in your life ain't going to be touched and be tampered on. 
You ain't gonna have, you're gonna be testing on it now. It ain't gonna be tight. And you had to come get that correction now. And that's what's gonna break the average of us. Yeah. Oh, you hurt and you running. You, me, Lord, I take whatever I gotta get. That wealth, that wealth, whatever I gotta do to be saved. You could just slap me. Out of word, nigga can't point at you. Can't even send that to you. I'll kill a nigga looking at me. What happened to slap you? What if it took to be saved? Shoot you with a little bullet. What happened to all that? Come true, when, when, it, when it get down to really pushing, your mouth going to tell on you. Biggest thing to do more talking in your mouth is your life. I've been doing it for 20 some years. These folks lied on me. They ain't stopped me yet. They run their mouth where they want. They ain't stopped me yet. They ain't got me in no scandal. They don't let the other dumb people sit here and listen to them. Been doing it for 20 some years plus. They ain't stopped me yet. I don't pay these people no attention. Hold on. How many times I heard folks, oh, I got this on. Oh, I'm going to show this. When are we going to see it? That's right. And the dumb, stupid people that listen to them, the retard, you think somebody got something on me with some kids, with another woman, and with a man, and it ain't out? Why the sissy won't come to expose me? I'm preaching. I'm preaching every sissy. Right. Screw the boy and none. Yeah. And you don't let me run you down and I sleep with you? I remember Kerry had a friend, his old best friend told Kerry about, about the baby I had at that time. Kerry was some kind, oh, Kerry was pissed. That was his best friend, too. Yeah. Kerry, oh, Kerry was pissed. Not with me. No, he was pissed. Kerry, man, Kerry was some kind of pissed. I told Kerry, calm down. I said, um, I said, I said, Kerry, I said, tell him I want to know how the baby doing. <laughs> then I told him, I told him, I said, tell him, I told him, I said, tell him to bring the baby. I, I, want, I was just to calm, I ain't want to argue. I said, I want to tell him to bring the baby. I said, I see the, because I told I hadn't seen the baby. I told I hadn't seen the baby long, and I wanted to see the baby. I don't know what I'm I want to be calm and nice, and, and he, you know, he told me, yeah, he, he ain't got no baby. I just tell him. <laughs> see, I, they want me to argue, argue, and then they look like, I, no, 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 I, I don't want to see the baby. That's all I'm concerned about. I need to see my baby, because I hadn't seen my child I had out here, and I want to see the baby. Don't take long. I seen him some years later. He seen me. I, I remember he said, he said, yeah, you, he said, um, he said, yeah, you don't remember? I, I, I said, oh, yeah, yeah. I said, oh, yeah, I remember. He said, he kept on. He said, yeah, man, I had um, one time told Carrie about it. I don't know why I told him about you had the, the baby out there. Oh, man. I said, that was you. <laughs> Look, I'll never forget who you is. <laughs> man, I told him, man, he, he told me. He said, I, he said, I was I was hurt, man. He said, Carrie, man, we been, man, we like brother growing up, man. He said, he said, Carrie, he, come, he said, I, he said, he did, man. I, I told him. He said, I want to carry from over there. I told him, I said, oh, okay. It didn't work. He's still here. But that's how it is. How folks said, folks tell these folks lied the same way he did. But he, he came back, though. He came back to tell me. He let me know. I knew it was. I, I knew it was. And I said, he did. He told me. He thought I didn't know. I told him, oh, that was you. <laughs> yeah. But that's how it is in life with things. You just live right. Everything else will prove itself out. Right. That's right. A whole lot of folks got themselves twisted and messed up. Folks lie on me all the time. I, oh, he's stealing money. Why ain't nobody improving none of this stuff? Right. What am I stuff? These four go, these four nearly how much money I got out. If I stole my own money, I'd be rich. I ain't even got to steal nobody. If I just stole the money owed out to me here and out there with these folk lying to me, I would be rich. But unfortunately, I'm stealing other folk money if people tell it. Listen, I offer my people opportunity. They'll be a better people. They'll work out this salvation thing. Everything else I'm telling y'all we can do. The breakaway, build a legion, get together as all the different races. I believe that. I believe all the races can get together. You know, when I say all the races, don't, please don't think I'm talking about every individual person. There are individuals in all these races. They're all are sick of all our leaders, so-called leaders. White people, a lot of them sick of these leaders. I'm sick of these black ones. A lot of them speak of the Hispanic. Because it's always people beat us and give us a bad name. They give us all a bad rap. That's why we can't get together. And it's in time for people that stand for right. While all these folks jump up running behind Trump, all these people running behind Biden, all these people running behind these other crooks and robbers, it's time people stand up for the truth. So I'm sick of all of you. Truth of the matter, I'm sick. A lot of this stuff, we can, we can, listen, we can get rid of a lot of this stuff. A lot of the hate, a lot of the killing, it'll stop. Because th these are the people that invoke it. They invoke it. What you think happened when you keep seeing these killing? What y'all think happened when they put a new four people shot in Washington, D.C.? What you thought they start bringing? What they said? They're going to start praying more? What they need? More police. More police to get these people out of the street. This is not their job. Some of this is our job. 
Some of these students are our responsibility. A lot of this stuff is in vote code. We're not putting our foot down at home. These kids ain't got no bill. No, God tell somebody, oh, man, please. I ain't getting no gun, no shotgun. Right, let me handle it. I see him. I give him a test right there. I say, put their papers and fill it out right there. Where I sign it? Wow, that's what I'm talking about. You don't get your behind out of here. I'm talking about no gun and no stupid questions. Son of folks, you look, what you finna do? Get, a, get out of here. I need to be the air, line them all up. I'd be like Musha, I sit there from morning to midday. What you need a gun for? I'm trying to shoot some squirrel. Nigga, get you a slingshot and get out of here. We started with slingshot. We was shooting squirrel. Need no gun to shoot. Oh, grown man, what you need a gun to shoot a squirrel for? Ain't nothing but a rat would have done bare skin tail. Stupid self, you need no gun and shoot no squirrel. That's a rat. Why don't you shoot the rat in your house? <laughs> Folks, just wait till I wouldn't give a nigga a gun. To shoot a squirrel and a rabbit? Nigga, please. Get you a box and trap it. Some stuff don't even make. What is a rabbit going to do you need to shoot it? Don't even make no sense. Why ain't folks just waste the more time to kill something don't even need to be killed? Go kill, go, my friend, take your bare hand and go ahead and kill the animal. Y'all wait, then you want to hang it all on your house and drink the blood, all that stuff, you're satanic. Just satanic. I ain't got no Benny with no gun. That's some stuff, you don't need no gun for that stuff. Listen, this is how I believe, this being old school. You kill what you're going to eat. I, don't, I, I ain't going to get no kid to go catch no fish to skin the stick the skin on the wall and throw the meat in the trash. That's just stupid. Anything you're going to go trap and get, that's, that's nature. That's the law of nature. You kill for survival. If you're being attacked by the animal, that's different. But you're trying to kill, you kill what you eat. All this stupid stuff, these white folks killing stuff, don't even eat it. They'll kill deer, don't even eat them. Cut the hell lead the meat just laying right out there in the street. That's, a, that, that's something the game why them, them bastards need to be shot. Go buy a big old ski. These niggas, crowd go pay $80,000 for a boat, $100,000 for a truck, $750 worth of real to pick up a fish and put it back in the water. Yeah. I'll drown you myself. Right. I'll drown you myself. Right. I kept I remember when I was fishing one time, I kept about a whoop. That white man, old man, he said, hi. I get him, he said, hey, he said, he don't want to eat them, put them back in it. I said, what you say? He said, you put, put them back, you're supposed to put them. I said, he's going right in this bucket as if he's going in the frying pan. He ain't putting it back, he should have bit that hook. I don't play no catch and release. When I release you, you go in that bucket, and from there you go in the skillet. That's just stupid. These white folks think they're preservation. Do y'all not know more of them fish that die from being released? Let me do this. Let me put a, a hook in these cracker mouth and drag them from that wall and run them around that wall and see what their heart be beating like when I let them go. They're going straight home. You know them fish swim off and die? Yeah, that's right. People don't even know. They don't find out the catch and release is the word program. Yeah. They die. Yeah. It's stressful. Yeah. You have a hook in your mouth. You fight. You run across that water. Try and then somebody, you shaking to get off. Somebody get in and kiss you in the mouth. No, they got monkey pop. <laughs> <laughs> and COVID. And stick them back in the water. Fish wind up dying. Yeah. White folk in their preservation. Everything they bring in Atlanta Zoo die. They don't get one animal that keep living. They kill everything. Down in the aquarium, die. Everything white folk in the hand, they die. Keep your hands off of folk, white folk. <laughs> white folk, I be licking for them to own an the animal. They kill everything they get. They get, they gonna put it in the bed. They wanna lick it, lick me in the mouth, lick me. Where did, where did you get all this lick you in the mouth from? Hold on, it ain't the only one. How many of y'all have had these animals like kissing? Y'all kiss your dogs again. Wait, nobody ain't kissed that one. You kiss. You say you delete the dog. You kiss the dog. On the head. On the head. The dog? <laughs> Never crossed my mind. Nah. Where y'all kiss the dog at? On the head. That beast out of there. <laughs> 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 Just throw it out there. I mean, let me say that. It's from the known time. What did you say? A week? Nah, no, no. Beast out of there. Where you to kiss the dog, too? Yeah, I probably kiss him in the mouth, too. Start kissing him out, yeah. Well, that's the American way. Not the different. Yeah, I ain't never care. I hated my dog. I hated every one of them. Then that right? The dog got out, punched me in the head. I hated him. <laughs> Peter, I hope you like him. Let me tell you why. If you can't go to the store and get your own dog food, when you had to run a store and you trying to play and get dog food for a dog, I'm pissed when I get back. So you finna get these right here dead in your head, and I'm mad with you. Peter went out when I was coming along. 
we'd have ran them off. Nobody, that's amazing. You can't beat a dog if you can beat a nigga to death. I don't know where they folk get all this love for dogs and animals, but you can beat a human up. I'm more concerned. Why are you hitting a human? They be different. I'm punching a human in the head. Son. This dog ain't doing it really. All these dogs need to be let go and just let them go in the wild. Let them go on out there. These animals need to be free. So I'm telling you who ought to be against it. Let me tell you what I don't do. And I, and I like goldfish. I'll have all that stuff there. I'm not putting no animal and trapping in my house. I don't want no fish. It ain't, I'm telling you what. What look like is cute for us. It is for you. That animal, that's not how they were raised. Anybody black ought to understand freedom more than anybody. Right, right. I mean, you got a fish. You think that thing where it lives at where it can't swim, swim in an area this small. You got the thing in a bag and you bragging about it. Let me put you in a bag with some water and put a rubber band around the top of it. You'll be losing your mind. Yeah. We always buying this. I know people, love, I love them, but I like them in their habitat. I want to be in mine and I want to be left alone. Leave them alone. They deserve that. I mean, go visit them. If they don't kill you, fine. <laughs> that is, but otherwise, leave the animal go. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with this. It's not Qatar, but I'm just telling you, I don't support it. I don't do it. I would like to have the fish and set them up, but I just felt it ain't right. You get the town, I don't care what you put in that tank. That ain't, what these folks, now, we can wear the same thing white folk got. So we better now? So you're going to tell me because I put oxygen in the water and put rocks in the water that that fish in the same, and I'm going to fool this fish that it's in the same place it's been. That's what they did to you, nigga. Put some rocks on it, let you change your clothes, put some lights around like you're doing because you're going to put light. What make you think these fish swimming like that in the ocean? Ain't no light in the bottom of no ocean. Feel like, nigga, you finna go to sleep. I want to cut the light off. <laughs> if I want light, I'll swim up to the top. Fish say insomnia. Tell me, you just keep going. Turn the light on. If I can get this, I'll cut it off myself. They make a mess, man. Somebody got to be an advocate for them. Let be honest. I know folk, man, look, you love them. Man, set them things. They have something you'll give. If you truly love something, set it free. Love it enough, let it be free. Let them animals live. They say they, it's stuff they deserve. That, that's theirs. Let them have what belongs to them. You already done put houses and buildings in here and took everything from them. Now you're going to trap them and hold them up because you want them? It ain't right. That was, that's the same thing white folk doing. Ain't a nigga should complain about his oppression here if he own an animal. You have no business because you, somebody, that cracker owns you. So however he treats you, whatever space he give you is right, just like you're doing that animal. You bought it to entertain you, to please you, and at your leisure you give it what you want to eat when you want to eat. Because you don't set your own schedule. That animal free animal eat when he want to eat. Talk to him, I don't eat but twice a day. <laughs> Nigga eating all about five plates of grits. They count it two times a day because they eat so much at one time. They're like, they don't count. These ain't multiple eatings. Somebody got to tell us the truth around him. Y'all want the truth, y'all want some lies. When are we going to do better? How you gonna hate your oppression here, but you are oppress another animal? Or you for oppressing another people? And the thing about it, man, I see some people trying to escape, get away, or another race, I'll be the last person to tell on them. You deserve it. That's your right. Man has to put all these boundaries here. And I agree with this now. You're gonna come in another man's state, another man's country, you abide by the rule. You don't want to abide by the rule, don't go. I ain't gonna come to your house and put my rule down. That's your house. I don't like your rule, I don't come. That's how you do business. Same thing here. We need to set up our own where we set our rule and people that come over us abide by them rule. You go to America, you abide by America rule. I'm going to stay over here where we at. I don't like the rule. It got monkey pops with it. It's going to be just a matter of time. Y'all men don't hurt them get, no, get that gristle out your back and get a bone. You finna get you some sissy sitting in your lap. It's the men's fault. Why y'all think we got all these sisters? It's our fault. We're scared to teach our boy to be masculine. We're scared to stand and be too masculine. And they don't go with no football. That's the dumbest stuff I heard in my life. Football is not masculine. I don't know why folk put, I don't know why people, I don't know where people get that mindset from. Masculine is not running into each other. That's just stupid. That's a sport and that's what it is. That makes no sense. You masculine by hitting a man. That makes no sense. So every man play football, ain't he and a man now? I don't know why people equate sports to being a man. They had nothing to do with sports come from the Greeks in Atlanta anyway. 
That had nothing to do with you being a man. Man is a quality of being. Ain't about being no more man than, than Adam was. Man had no gate. Isn't that right? What sport he played? That man was all of him. White folk done gave all that stuff, man. I ain't real man. See, a real man, he watch sport. You watch what you want to watch. That's right. Stop putting, I ain't put, I ain't not calling football, getting none of that. I'm just saying, get out of your mind putting your kid in a sport going to make him a man. That's retarded. Right. Every time, why these dumb bastards, what are they doing? Effing up. Raping somebody. Pissing on somebody. Yep. Ain't that right? Caught him in some, beating up some woman. That's a man? That caused somebody to put him in a sport and thought they were going to make him a man. Sport don't teach you how to be no man. That's retarded. Oh, no. no man, anybody will tell you, I would like one of you guys to explain to me how a sport made you a man. That don't make you no man. That's retarded. We, people don't sell us so many retarded stuff. We don't even think. We just go along with it. Right. Had nothing to do with being no man. All right, we get ready. Try to move forward. They don't like my speech. Right. Time to be before y'all alone, you who are with them. Be mindful of my time. But I already been preaching. I don't have nothing to tell. Man is a state of being. Y'all got it? That's right. It's a state of being. That's why we got to get our people, in, get ourselves in the mind to understand what a man, because a lot of times we try to find ourselves by a man by something we've seen on TV. I'm being honest, it is. Or some a cartoon character. How a cartoon character gonna teach you how to be a man? It's a drawing. It may absolutely, but we haven't did we have, let me tell you something. Our race is such in a piss poor condition, we don't have to use cartoons to teach us everything. We don't have to use everybody other than what we what we should have had as a symbol in our home, following the pattern that this man has established. Y'all have being somebody somebody can count on, being responsible. Ain't that right? Being a person, your word is your bond. Y'all got it? A man is a man that went in tune with his creator. Y'all know he in tune with his creator and the will of his creator. That's, that's a man right there. Being in tune with your creator, knowing what your creator wants. Y'all ain't being able to follow that and being able to follow that order. Y'all know that? That's it. That's it. All right, this is Romans 15 and 4. This is the word program. Listen. For whatever Nikata before. So for whatever was written before. Nikata for our alumni. It was written to teach us, to show us, and to instruct us. Y'all got that? Yes, sir. I'm talking to our men. I'm talking to our men. And where didn't that teach us how to play football or basketball or soccer? Because that wasn't teaching for our learning. What he gave us was the word. The word defines us. The word sets us apart. And that's what we've been trying to do. Trying to break away from the people we used to be. And I appreciate the way... <clears throat> He's giving it to us for the fact that he allowed us for a period, myself, he allowed me for a long period of time to be Tony Smith. For approximately 26 years, I got to be Tony Smith. Worst human being on the planet. But he allowed me to be able to do that, though. And I had to learn what kind of bad person Tony Smith was so I would be somebody different. And ready to run on, reshape me. Show me a different order of how things should be done in order to give me shalom. A lot of people don't have shalom with themselves. My shalom don't come in by me laying on the bed asleep. I have a peace with Allahim for the fact I try to stay in tune with him and try to keep a listening ear. So whatever his order is, I want to move to that directive. And that's the mindset a man got. No matter what you're doing through the course of the day, no matter when you go to sleep, when I wake up and I get up to go to pee, whatever I do, it don't make no difference. I need to talk with him. <clears throat> I want to make sure I'm in tune with his order. When he speak, I want to be able to hear him. I want to make sure whatever my, my grievance is, uh, whatever my complaint is, I want to pour it out to him. My complaint is, I want my arm to be saved. Mm -hmm. That's what my grievance is. I don't have a problem with Allahim. I don't have, all of, I don't have a problem with Allahim way. I don't, have a, I don't have a problem with Allahim works. I don't have a problem with none of his orders. I just have a problem with why my people not where they need to be. And because we hadn't really sat down and been taught. We hadn't really sat down and considered what's the mission in hand. You can serve Allahim and have things. Contrary to what people told you, you just got to do the right thing first. And that's making sure you're in tune with him first. So when you get things, you understand where did they come from. 
Where did it come from? Who give them? Who take them away? Y'all got it? He, you remembered it. He's the car. Mark to remember, didn't it? The all that he gave. Richer man in all the land. He said, because I work hard. When other people sleep, I was up going. He realized, Yahoo will give it. And Yahoo will take it away. Y'all got it. That's the mindset all of us got to get. And the reason I'm talking so to the men, but it's to all of us individually, to the men, because our men don't, the drive, it just don't seem to be there. The mind don't seem to be there to realize what it takes, what you're willing to do. If y'all can encompass salvation, the rest of this stuff, this kids play. Ain't nothing we can't do. This is the hardest thing you ever do, working on salvation, because it's working on you. This man stuff out here, work, getting this stuff, coming, you can get this so many different ways every day. You can get it wrong or right. You think everybody right, the only people got money? Because anybody can get it. Everybody just can't get saved. Because they come down to what you got to do. People ain't going to do it. When you start going through the order of everything you got in your life and where things sat in your life, I just been with you. I got to deal with monkey pox. got AIDS on him. Man, we got these wars going on. Gas high. Shoot, man. Nigga trying to get it, man. Because that's where it's on the priority. Salvation is not their priority. The world can't keep going the way it's going. Any food can see it's ending. They're coming to a close, which means they're coming to a close. Eventually, you get out of here. Do y'all understand? We're inhabiting an earth on a rots. I'm sorry. Yeah, a, a lum for earth. Um, we ain't the first people here. There was a whole set of people here before any of us ever got here. Y'all hear me? Another whole set of people before we got here. How about there was another whole set of people before they got here? How many of y'all were here when people were here in like 1903? What was it, two people? How many people y'all think were here about 50? Trillion. Where are those people at? Do y'all understand there is a whole new set of people here? This man removed folk and put a whole new set of people. Not people that just connect off from people that you distant from. When you do your connection to where you connect to some people that were here in 1903 and 1897, whew, those people gone and the memory of them gone. Yes, sir. The love and the hate of them gone. That's right. That's going to be us. Yeah. That's right. Eventually, there are another people going to come and inhabit their place. It ain't going to be us. That's right. He made their place to be inhabited. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to be him when he set it up <clears> just <throat> to put the Sadiq here. See, all the test run being gone, he done put it here. He put it here where we were supposed to outnumber the Rosha and the, and the Rosha have overtaken us. They've overtaken us. He set the order up that when he put us here, we were supposed to outnumber them. They've taken over, but only for a short duration of time. But through the midst of it, he has managed to keep to himself a people. He's never been without him a people. Hello? He's never been without a people. He's never been without a people. It's never been a time you'll find he didn't have a people. He's always had somebody to him. Whether it was a few in number, whether it was a large number, he's always reserved him some to himself. That's our goal to be that people he reserved to himself. Y'all got it? Yes, anybody out here that's not doing what he say, it's hard. It's hard, man. You can't resist. Man, ain't women out here naked. Man, these niggas out here, man, homosexuality. Man, all they, man, nigga got to do something. You got to do something when you're not reserved. Mm -hmm. When you don't consider the time to come. And the thing is, every one of us had the ability to do it. Let me tell you something. It don't take no, power. It don't take no special power, no ability to be gay, to be drunk, be stupid, be ignorant, be retarded. It don't take no special power. It just take a will and just let go of everything that's logical, <clears throat> everything that's practical, and everything that's eternal. That's all you got to do to do it. Well, ain't no spirit gonna stop me from going to liquor store. I go out here and crack my car. That little, that my car ain't finna cut off. Tell that light on. Oh, holla him, man! I walk in the judge right now. Man, he won't even let my car start. Nigga, please. He a remote start if I hit the key. That what you wanna do? Stop telling them lies. Folks, put that stuff on. Man, I put that stuff on that man. Listen, show us if I do that thing willingly. Willingly, that's right. Am I doing it willingly? If he cut my car, don't let my car crank up to go. Then he keep me from doing. It. He said, like, No, I'm gonna give you the mind. Right. How you gonna keep me in perfect peace? Mind stayed on him. He just do that. Even my mind ain't on it. Don't make sense. He said, work in conjunction with your mind on me. Right. I'm going to keep you in me when your mind is somewhere else. That's stupid. People use these dumb, boneless, brain head decisions. People, let me tell you something. 
Only reason why he had you resisting and why you go through and you and you really get the strong urges of it to show you you can resist. That's right. And people saying they can't. That's right. You can do it. I tried. I can't do it. I'm being a witch. I tried it. You didn't try it to the intent that you realize your soul is attached to what you're doing. That's, right. That's what you got to remember. Your soul attached. Hello? Hello? That's how we got to look at it. That's why y'all so comfortable doing what you're doing. Your soul got to be attached to it. My soul attached to what I do. So it make a difference on what you'll indulge and what you'll get yourself into because your soul attached to it. That's just a little something y'all think about. You ain't got to worry about it. So y'all understand that whatever written the fourth time, written for our learning, that we threw. Endurance. And what we said, going through without giving way, way, without quitting. What's going to keep you from doing that? So what? Well, actually, on this one, it's going to be the word. That's going to get us, that's what's going to get us. That's going to help your mind, your law, to uh, be more motivated to stay with the more you read. Because I, I told you, the people that encourage me are not the people. Let me say this. I'm just saying that. I don't want to say it wrong. People take it wrong. Um, Dow and them did very good. I mean, they've done very well and what they've done. Very well, exceeding um, well in what they've done. But I look more at the people who didn't make it. And that makes me consider. The people that didn't make it, the people that changed and wanted to have the law to come back, he wouldn't allow them. Those are people I kind of think on more to make me consider where I want to be with them. I don't want to be the people I read about that don't recover. I don't want to be those people. Those are the people that motivate me to make me stay where I'm going. The dial somebody, I think about Yerim Yahuwah, the man's name is exalted. Yahuwah going to exalt him. So what was going to happen to him? He was going to stay down? Your name is Yahuwah exalt you. Why am I looking for you to stay down? Yo, it don't even go with your name. <laughs> I look at people that make it with him. Let people cut off. Those are the people I consider the most and realize you could be one of them. That, those are the ones that more uh, 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 encourage my <coughs> fear toward him to realize you don't want to be that person. Mm -hmm. When they tell you about a lot of people, going down, I, I'm trying to read through and read, you know, you, who is my shepherd? I shall not want the whole time I've been living. He won my shepherd. Mm -hmm. That's not going to be one going to encourage me. That's somebody else telling me that he was his shepherd. He didn't want. I needed some things. I was going through some things. You know, and I walked through the valley. I walked through the valley of shadow that I shall feel no evil. That wasn't my testimony. See, folks take stuff and they run it. How that, let me get something. You go through something, you don't feel nothing. So how did, and you said that's your that's your that's your that's your scripture though. That don't want to get you moving. I don't know what you got in relation with it. If you were here, if he was your raw, then he said you'll hear his voice and you'll follow it. Mm -hmm. See, you've been saying stuff already. You've been lying the whole time. He said, my sheep know my voice. They hear me and they follow me. But that's your favorite scripture. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. That make say he make you to lie down. You won't lie down. You won't bow down. You won't humble yourself. How stuff people, because you know what? It sounds good. I heard other folks say it. A lot of people ain't really got no real sense for their self thing. But be practical with yourself going through and know what you can do. I need to know about all those people that fail. He drowned, he took down Nebuchadnezzar. I didn't know about Pharaoh, all these people, because Tony Smith can mess around and get too high for itself. And Tony Smith needed to know, just like he took them down, he'll take Tony Smith down too. So keep me in mind knowing where you need to be in your place. Y'all got what I'm saying? So a lot of folks, they need to hear some other people. Some upcoming stuff and some other people doing something. Touching the, the hem or the gum and getting up. What about it has been longer than 12 years and you ain't got up yet? How that going to work for you? That one I'm going to use. I'm going to use the woman that touched his garment, had 12 long years. I've been down for 14. Mm -hmm. 17 years I've been down. But that woman that touched that, and that, that got that for me. Holy is your blood, you're a cancer. See, people that are going through who ain't saw their deliverance, looking at that, it'll start out, it'll work for a minute, but then practicality sets in. That's a whole different issue. How are you using that? Come on, folks, let me help y'all out. All right. Listen, when you read it, you got to read with understanding and be practical. You can try to make yourself fit into something, but you got to be honest, it ain't practical on some issue. 
Man, I just read such, that don't work for you. Because some people, no matter what you hear in your mind, always trying to rationalize another way around it. Especially when it's something that's going to restrict you. It's human. There ain't nothing. Oh, I ain't going to be saved. Why my mind? Cause that's what it does. <clears throat> that's what your mind knows. It's something telling you you can't do something irrestricted. You think about, well, what can I do? What can I get to, 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 to substitute what I can't do that's close enough to what I can't do? He realized you can't substitute it with that. Nothing. I'm the whole substitution. Your mind try nothing. I got to be able to do something. You got to be able to do nothing but what I tell you. So it got to come to you in a way where it just box you off to keep you from trying to get out away from it. Because you're going to mess around, you ain't going to be saved. Don't let these people make no fool out of you. Be practical on where you at. They're going through reading, trying to find a little story to fix your problem. That's not your problem. You need to go through, you need to read. This is supposed to go through to help you keep from quitting. Quitting come up a lot of time for a lot of people. I'm past it. I'm too old. I can't quit. Too far in. Too far gone. Too deep. Whatever you want to call it. It ain't even my, it ain't even my option. Well, quit and do what? I ain't got no choice. I'm too scared of dying and burning shit I said, be honest, it ain't, it ain't even an issue. I, don't, I, ain't, I can't even have to come say I'll be lying and have to come say this with you. Yeah, I be thinking about quitting. I'll be lying to you. I got past that. Now you want to get you past it, you got to get all them doors shut. You got to start seeing everything around you fail and shutting down and realize, man, you, you right at death door. I don't know what you're going to do. A lot of stuff you can do in your health and your strength. You start to find out just how close you are to deteriorating out of you. Yeah, it, it ain't practical. It's just not a practical conversation. I'll be wasting your time. I'll be wasting your time and mine too. I can't do nothing. I mean, it just be stupid. I, if I can walk out here and do it, I shouldn't be saved. Ain't no reason me coming back. That's just stupid. I, I know better. What, I'm, what, what What's going to be my justification? What I'm going to tell the man, I ain't know it was that serious. It's very serious. This is serious than anything ever been. And that's what you got to be. If y'all going to be saved, watching this, him, man, you got to be willing to do everything. You got to be willing to do everything it takes. That's what it's going to push you to. He going to try, he going to test you on everything. He got to. Go on and set yourself. Look at everything he got. He going to test you on it. He going to push you to the brink of. Just so you'll know for yourself, too. It'll prove you out, and you need to know for yourself. A lot of y'all have been in a real good spot. You ain't never been in a situation really been tested. He hadn't tested you for the fact that, why would I give you a test? You ain't even trying to take it. You're not even trying to serve me. Why would he give it to you? It don't even make sense. <clears throat> Hello? Tests give you a chance to evaluate to see what people at. Skip school teaching anybody here? That's what tests show what, what you've learned and to see where you're at so we see where we're going from there. Why would he give you a test when I already know you fail, you're a failure? I already know you ain't doing that. Why would I give you a test? That's a waste of time. Some of that stuff teacher walking out, I would not give a kid, do no homework. I'm not giving you no test for what? Give me a test. That's a waste of my time. I already know where you at. Don't you know teachers know where they're still at? Don't you know you who will know where we at? He ain't wasting his time. Why would I waste the time with a test? You, cr you faint, you cry, you quit too easy. You ain't motivated to do it. It takes too much to hold you, to keep you. Too much you let rational. Listen, stuff can come in your mind all you want. It's your job to constrain it. How you going to do it? Hands, 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 hands. Now I got a bishop. I got two I king, three I king. Now, a bishop uh, uh, ranking this four against him. Now they about to pass. I want to say... Four, five, I king, that's almost a bit sick. That's almost a bishop. <laughs> so, oh, that's a more than jumped in. Bishop, you might be outranked. What y'all do, pass to the bishop? Or y'all want to answer? Oh, he said, hold on. I, that, Ryan said, he'll take it from him. Ryan, you want it or get the bishop? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's you said them had bishop. I think anybody bishop Apostle said he's going to give it to you. What you going to sign? Say what? Okay. How many agree with that? Casting down imagination. That's a good one. How many agree? Okay. It was supposed to be when your obedience is fulfilled. You got to bring it into captivity. Not far. First thing I do is bring it into captivity. I was telling you about the thoughts coming in your mind. You could do that. And also, you got to realize some of it ain't going to just go when you cast it. So now I got to bring it into captivity. That's what we do. Think about it. Thoughts come to your mind, what you do? <clears throat> Get out of here. It come back. That didn't work. So now I got to bring it in subjection. Right. But I can't do that till my obedience is fulfilled. Right. Yeah. See, think about it. How's it going to work? If I'm not obeying, then how am I going to restrict the thought? 
I can't restrain. I can't hold a thought. I can't make the thought subject because I'm not complying. Right, right. The only way to stop it, and the reason why I'm able to stop it, because I'm complying with what he said. That has given me the unction and the urge and the drive to resist it. But I can't do that when I'm not obeying. You know what I'm saying? Preacher, I tried that. Was you, he said, when your obedience is fulfilled, when you start obeying, you get this part done, now you can start, when I put it out, it'll come back. <laughs> Bring it in subjection. Put it in place. Why do you think Yahushua was able to tell those Shadim what to do? Because he was getting ready to start obeying. Because his obedience was fulfilled. That's what he told us in the 17th chapter of the book of Yukonah. He said, I finished the work. I kept him in your shim. That's why he was able to do it. Why do you think things were such? They want to know. Listen, even the, the, even the wind, the Kadim, the wind, all this stuff is subject to this man. Because he was subject to the Abba. You trying to get something done, who you subject to? I guess you answered yourself, huh? So now you're trying to go through, and you're trying to run through and catch writing to try to help you to get endurance going through without quitting, but you hadn't complied with your obedience. And the kum, which is comfort of the, the writings we might have. Tikva. That's my, that give me my expectation. By using all those people that turned, that fell away, that did what they did, it made me start to consider. Made me start to consider. You who have put things here. All, all Tahalini, Mr. Yahuwah. All Hadu, all two daughters, Mr. Yahuwah. Because we recognize where things come from. He can use people, use situations around you, which you always consider who's the final verdict on everything that happened with you. He the final verdict. A lot of people put their hope and confidence in a lot of things. We probably put our hope and our confidence in Allahim. Hello? Well, all right, let me see something. See if that the 20th chapter of the book, I don't know why it's coming to 20. It might be not 24. See if that 20 and 1 the book of Tahalim. Let me see that what I want. I ain't got long. Give me about a couple minutes to try to get y'all finished up for him. I know y'all don't like that. Still got a lot of members out. So I'm still going down. By the end of the day, this virus is here that Yahuwah will see fit to remove it. Hmm. Let me see why I thought 20, 20, 22. Let me say. Let's say. Listen. Yahuwah, Shama the and, and the Hold on a second before you go. And for those who do use the program, and the, uh, the Greek are saying this is actually the 19th chapter. And they're writing. They've got the 20th. In the Latin and James version said it's the 20th chapter. The Greeks labeled it as the 19th. All right, listen. Yahuwah shama thee in the yum of trouble. Mm -hmm. The shim of Allahim of Yaakov defend thee. Y'all see that? Hold on, let me see what it said again. Come on. For the, hold on, for what you, you went to the 19th chapter. Oh, this is 20th. Oh, okay, okay. For the end. A Tahalim of uh, Yehu of Daud, the Yahuwah hears thee in the day of trouble, in the human trouble. The name of Yahuwah, I'm sorry, the name of the Allahim of Yaqob, defend thee. That's what we're looking for. Come on. Shalak, thee help from the Makdash and strengthen thee out of Saum. Mm hmm. Listen. Zakar, all thy offerings. Hold on, let's stop for a second. Let's look up Saum so I can see what it means. But all that listen, Saum, Saum was a city actually that Daoud took. But I've been in the heights too. A monumental or a guiding pillar. Y'all see what that is? A monumental or a guiding pillar. Saum. It also told you it was a heart of Jerusalem. Y'all got it? So that makes sense. So when they just saw Yahushua up on the two, guess what that would have been? That's right. Saun. That's who he was. Saun. He told y'all already that you knew it was Yahuwah. What did he tell y'all about Saun? That give y'all hands, 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 hands. There go hands. 
Any bishop going to not rank him? Any apostles? Any empire? Oh, I got an ark over him. Cannon, what you think? He got the right answer. Hey, hand right. Cannon looking around like, who, who? All right, and then what you, you going to take it? You going to go ahead and answer. See what it is. Ain't going to be the right answer. That's how he gets it. No, he's going to be on it. He's going to be on it. He's going to be on it today? He's All right, let's see what you got. That's tight. And Bishop saw that that was completely wrong. He said, Zion will Allah he forsake his kid. He said, Zion had said, Yahuwah had forsaken him. And that's why when he was up on the two, that was important for everybody to know who he was. Because when Yahushua was on the two, he told you that, what it say, Eli, Eli, Lama Sabbatani. That it say, Malahim, Malahim, why had thou forsaken me? Everyone who was there had known and should have known that he was Saun. Because this was a monumental or a guiding pillar. Pillar is something you set up. That's why they took the two and they put them up on a heart. They told him the place of a skull because he was Saun. Hello? And Yahuwah had let him know that he hadn't forgotten him. Okay? So it's important to remember the reason why you'd have heard him say that. Let's see, just so they get a little understanding of it. Let's jump over right quick to the uh, 48th chapter. 48, 49, 40, see that 49, 14? Uh, Yeshayahu. Let's see. 49, 14, hold on. Might be 48, was it 48? 48, Yeshayahu. What's it, 48? Well, 49, okay, 49. Matiyahu. Matiyahu. Let's see. Listen. But Saun said, Yahuwah hath forsaken me. See that? Listen who said it. But Saun said, Yahuwah hath forsaken me. Forsaken us? Me. And? My Adon hath forgotten me. That's what he said in 15. Can an Asha forget her sucking Yalit, that she should not have compassion on the bend of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Hold on for a minute. Suckling, he didn't tell a suckling breastfeeding. He just told him forget a child. Um, the, uh, what you call it didn't say the same, the Latin didn't say the same thing. They were talking about offspring, upon the offspring of her womb. But if a woman should even forget these, yet I will not forget thee, said Yahuwah. Let's see what happened. 2748, Matiyahu. I'm going to go back up. I'm 45. 48, 48, 49, 49. Read. Now, from the sixth hour, there was Kashak over all the Arats until the ninth hour. Mm -hmm. And about the ninth hour, Yahushua Sayak with a loud call, saying, Do what? Ali, Ali, Lama Sabathani, that is to say, my Allahim, my Allahim. Why hast thou forsaken me? That's how we should have known who he was. So if people would have stood down and they'd have saw, let's see what happened. Listen. Some of them that stood there when they shamed that said, This each call it for all Yahoo. So they did hear him. So what you think for some of the other ones? They didn't tell you everybody said it. What you think some of the other people were thinking? This is monumental. Because the writing said that Zaun was going to say that. And Zaun was a har, a mountain that was in Jerusalem. Guess where he was at when he was saying this? Wow, this is monumental. Memorable. Zakar, mark it as to remember. That these folk, they realized for those that knew, they knew it like we read in the book of Zachar, y'all, in the book, which means that y'all has remembered. That's why they were watching. They knew it was Yahuwah. 
The fact that he said it, this was monumental. Hello? Can we see what the word monumental means? Sure, it's marking something to be significant. Because they already had Karl Marx up there. Maybe more, uh oh, look at monkey pot. You see how monkey pot tried to pop up now? <laughs> so they tell you right now, see, so many people looking it up. Google already, you put M O N, they ain't going to let you spell mm -hmm. money. You want to know about that monkey, don't you? <laughs> when we done for them men that tell their wife he want that monkey, you can't tell your wife that no more. You can't call that no monkey no more. All right, man, around get that pop. All right, look down. Great in uh, great in importance, ex ex extent or size. So we look at him from this end. He was great in importance. Y'all got it. So I believe he definitely served a, a, a valuable importance to us being there. Y'all got it. Yes, sir. On a lot of ends. Okay, we can go back. Did y'all somebody writing that down still? Wait, was it about still writing? You are, all right, we'll give you that little time. Go ahead. But that's something that we want to consider. I want to make sure we got it, make sure we get it together, and make sure we're right when this man get back here. I cannot stress that enough to all of you guys here watching in. Um, it's late, later than it's ever been for us. Uh, as it turned to Romans, the um, 13th chapter, how the night is far spent, the humans at hand, let us therefore cast off the works of Kashak and put on the armor of Aor. It's time to put on the, the daytime armor of Aor. It's time now to, to make sure we're in manifestation. That's what light means. We're told to make manifest, make clear. So it's been made clear to us what we should do. Then that's how we should walk. We should halak in a clear way. We shouldn't walk like we're in some type of derision. We shouldn't walk it though we don't have no certainty of what we're doing. If we're supposed to put on the armor of light, that means to make clear. So it's supposed to be clear for us what we're doing. We're supposed to manifest to other people. They can see this is clearly the right way to walk. Y'all got it? That's right. And because shock, you can't see, you can't move. We learn that from when? Hands, 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 hands. I got a man looking on beach out back there now. That man been waiting. He ain't passing no more. Did you answer the last one? Who answered it? No, you did answer it. Um, no, not that one. The one before when I passed over the Apostle Bishop, man. You remember that? Who else I got? Somebody in Ray who was new. We don't want you no more. Who else? Hold on, we ain't Ray. We don't really get none out of Ray no more. But you can call me Ray. Go ahead, Ray. What happened to Ms. Ryan? In three days. What happened? Then? Yeah, you said everybody. That wasn't true. Because in Goshen, they had Aua. He said, he, said, he said that's what he was talking about. That yeah, right. But I know what you're talking about. We, we know what you're talking about, how they didn't walk. But so you know what this would have been notable too? That from the sixth to the ninth hour, it would have shot over the whole of Rod's Den. And they wouldn't have moved either. Nobody would have moved out of their place. Nobody would have moved out of their place. For a reason. Isn't that right? And you know what happened when they would moved out of their place? Hands, 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 hands. Tell them what happened. Uh-oh. We finna go with Chris. Who got money on this? I, I you like a bad man, but I, I tried. <laughs> with you. Is this money on Chris getting it right or Chris getting it wrong? Oh, we're getting it right. What you say, huh? He gonna get it right or get it wrong? All right, that tight. This out there. Now, let's see what you gonna say. <laughs> now hear that? Look at that. <laughs> see that? Y'all were right. He got it wrong. I just made that up, though, didn't I? Then I just made that up. He got it right, didn't he? Yeah, he got it right. No, he got it wrong. Stop it. He folded my... These people know me better. They don't tell me wrong or wrong. No. Let's show you why. Pick me up right quick at the uh, 14. Ooh, uh, Ooh, the 14th chapter and about the 13th verse. They call it Exodus. Uh-oh. Now everything COVID. Let me tell you something. He make you appreciate your health no more. Man, we went. There's a lot. I'm t with all that, but this is the thing about all the diseases. None of these diseases out here knew. They've always been here. Mm. When, remember, this stuff came out, nobody heard of it, nobody seen it. Then you got the Lysol can, and the thing said it killed COVID. Wow. 
It been on about. Think about it. Why would you be reading about other Lysol can to see COVID? Now it's clear. You saw stuff, but think about this. If it wasn't for the fact it appeared and happened, you would have never noticed on the can. People had lights off all this. Nobody never looked up on that saying it was 99.9%, or 98 point whatever against COVID. No, why would you, I didn't even know why. I wouldn't even look at it twice. There's no need until when. So guess what happened? Guess when we start looking at salvation? That's right. You had to make it a need. Nobody just getting no salvation. You got to have a need. You got to have a need. It's a need for salvation now, ain't it? Man, Lysol flew out the shit. Remember, you couldn't even find no Lysol. That store was gold. Man, folk found they'll steal it. Set it down, it was stolen. Hand sanitizer. Man, folk were all over that stuff, man. Folk use it now, they ain't wash their hands. Still digging it, no. You don't put hand sanitizer on the booger and eat. Man, the booger's still there. It don't matter what. That's a booger. Booger don't die. You get a booger, you thump it. And get out the way, cause the wind coming to blow it back in your nose. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Listen what he told. Listen. And Mushai said unto the arm. What did he say? Y'all are ye not. Uh-huh. Stand still. And do what? See the Yeshua of Yahuwah. How they gonna do it now? Stand still. And do what? See the Yeshua of Yahuwah. And they're gonna see the what was it again they're gonna see? Yeshua of Yahuwah. What they gonna need to do to do it? Which he will shoot. Hold on for a minute. What do they need to do to see it? Stand still. That's why he let it been dog. Nobody would move. Now you judge for yourself will he answer right or not. He just told those people to stand still so he could see it. Back me up. Uh, hold on for a minute. Let's see what happened after that. How about let's go at it? Let's read down a little bit more. Yes, sir. Listen. Listen. Which he will shew to you this yum. He gonna show it to him this yum. Listen. For the Mizraim whom ye have seen this yum. Yeah. Ye shall see them again no more alarm. Come on. Yahuwah shall fight for you mm -hmm. and ye shall hold your shalom. Mm. Come on. And Yahuwah said unto Mosha, wherefore criest thou unto me? Mm -hmm. Speak unto the Benin. Hold on for a minute. Stop. Come back down. Roll back down to 14. Roll back down. That man said fight. The Yahuwah said, okay, and you should hold your shalom. All right, go ahead. 15. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, uh -huh. wherefore criest thou unto me? Do what? Speak unto the Benim of Yasharal, uh -huh. that they go forward. And they proceed. Go ahead. But lift thou up thy rod, and stretch out thine hand over the yom. And do what? Divide it. That's why the book told you some of them said. They were divided. What you think about it? Yahushua had his hand up. He was divine the people. That's why I told you some of them said, it could have never told you all of them called on us. He had divided the people. Listen. And the benim of Yasharal shall go on dry Adima mm -hmm. through the mist of the young. Go ahead. And I, behold, I will harden the lob of the Mizraim, mm -hmm. and they shall follow them. Mm -hmm. And I will get me kabood upon Pharaoh and upon all his sub, upon all his hosts, mm -hmm. upon his chariots and upon his horsemen. Yeah. And the Mizraim shall know that I am Yahuwah when I have gotten me kabot kabot kabood upon Pharaoh. So kabob. I'm talking about going back to Washington D.C. But that's some good eat. <laughs> I get me some kabob too. Go ahead. Upon his chariots and upon his horsemen. Yeah. And the monarchy of Elohim, which went before the camp of Yashra, uh -huh. removed and went behind them. And the pillar of the cloud went, bef went from before their Pani yeah. and stood behind them. And what happened? And it, and it came between the camp of the Mizraim and the camp of Yashra. And what happened? And it was a cloud of Kashak to them. But it gave Aura by Layla to these, so that the one came not near the other, all the Layla. See that? It came in and make a divide to keep the people from coming together. That's what he becoming to set up for the people. See, there was a dog in the devil when he did it. It put a divide. That's why I told you some of them, he divided them and separated them. So all these things come in and do the same thing today. Yahuwah was coming to get him kabood out of these people. And if folks were going to remember what they were there to see, what was it again? Yeah, and it was dog too. And he told them to stand still. They had our ore, but it was going to be important. They stand still. You ain't going to believe it. They had our ore there too. Yahushua was our ore. He told you even Darden was, even Kashat was our ore. 
Had to be. How did you put the Yarrick up now? Everything he told you made sense. You got the Yarrick and you got and you got the Kitha beans. So why are you still calling it Layla? You got light in it. So although it was dark, what did they have? Light. He ain't gonna believe it. When your hoosh was up on the tube and he had a hand up, there were people that saw the light. Some people stayed in darkness. He divided them. These folks don't realize that's what he, that's how he operate. Hello? That's how he operate. It made sense. Zechariah told her, and those that watched, they knew it was Yahoo. That's right. How you know it was Yahoo and it was dark? He had Aur. He had Aur. That's right. That's right. That's <laughs> right. He was just like the, the S H A M A S H, the Shamash. And I, it was there to give light. Hello? One reason why you saw he would have got kaboo for the fact of there was no other light. He told you the day of Yahuwah, when it come, he said, shouldn't it be dark? And it was going to be no light in it? That means no kooka beans. That means no yarrit. He, he said it was going to be very dark. <coughs> Oh, symbolism. Let me get this straight. Let me see what monumental. Mm. People were watching. There was no other light. The man blocked out everything else that was there. So you're going to see it was only one light for them. Right. Let me see something. See what that did. Uh, 24 and 1. 24 and 1. Tahalim. I try to get y'all out of here. Hey, we got to get this thing right, y'all. Hold on, 23, 22, 24. It's 24. Let's say 23, 24. Is it 28? Let me say 28. should tell you that Yahuwah is my light. And 27. 27. 22 and 27. Let's say 27. It's real 27. Let's see what he told you. Listen. Yahuwah is my Aura and my Yeshua. Whom shall I Yara? Yahuwah is the strength of my Kai, of whom shall I be afraid? Well, uh, you see, he told me to about that. The Yahuwah is my uh, or. So in order to do that, you had to darken out everything else. He was the only clear path to see. You can't say that when you got other lights. That's just being honest. When there's other lights out there operating, it's hard to say that. So if you take out all the other lights, he's the only one, you have that confidence. That's why he had to take certain stuff out of our life, certain support system, certain things we look to, certain things we love. So you will be able to say, too, that he's your, he's the only one that make clear for you. If light means to make clear, he's telling you he's the only one make clear. If I got other lights, I can't say that. That's just being honest. Because there's some other things, too, I kind of, I get clarity from, too. So the only way to do that, how about if I dark out everything else around you? And I'm, on, I'm the only clear path to sight. Then you can self confident that Yahuwah is your light. And the fact that I come to deliver you, that's your salvation. And you understand it's your salvation because it's clear now. It makes sense. Just like with them, they were put in a situation to where death was imminent on every hand, whether Pharaoh or whether the young. Where are you going? You trapped. If I jump in the ocean, how long are you going to swim in the ocean? These folks not finna sit here and say, oh, we don't want to get wet. They're coming in after you. If you stay here, you're going to die. 
Only clear path you can say, Yahuwah is my oil. And my salvation. And my salvation. And then when you see him take them down, guess what you can say next? Whom shall I fear? See, we recite stuff, but you haven't been in the situation. That's why you don't have the creeds, you don't have the credibility in your speech when you say it. Because you've never been put in a situation where I shouldn't get out of it. I shouldn't make it, it, either way this go, there's no way out. He'll put you there so you can say that with a confidence. Y'all got it. He'll put you there. You know who can't say that? Pharaoh and everybody that was with him. Only people can say that if people that have put their confidence in them like that. To be able to say that, what kind of predicament you got to be in? Probably wake up feeling good, high in the spirit. Probably been listening to ZMR radio. I mean, I'm being funny at the same time, but I'm just being, what, 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 what you got to do? Probably read a, a scripture make you start crying. You got to be in a situation where salvation, can we see what salvation is, please? Let me try to get ready to let y'all go. Get ready to take up the money. Maybe you can't say it because you don't know what it is. Salvation, preservation, or deliverance from harm, ruin, or he is my salvation. Preservation or deliverance. He delivered me. That's a yasha. He delivered them. That's why he let them know they understood that he was their savior. Salvation is something you have. In order to obtain it, you're going to need a savior. That's what, there's no way to get salvation without a savior. That's why he let us know to look to him to save it. I, he didn't just teach us what salvation was. We had to also recognize where did it come from. Why y'all think blind Bartimaeus were asking Yahuwah to deliver him? They knew him as a savior. I'm blind. I done tried some things, but I still can't see. I need somebody to save me, make clear for me. I need somebody to be my light and be my salvation. You need a savior. People want salvation, but now you need it. How do you get it? You need a savior. You need a Yasha. Oh, that's, that's, that's why he's so important. You can't, you, in, to get one, you have to have the other. You can't have one. I'm saying, I got salvation. How do you get it? You had to have a savior. Can we see what a savior is? A person who saves someone or something, especially a country or cause, from danger and who is regarded with the veneration of a religious figure. They'll put it down as a rescuer. That's what we look at a Yasha, a rescuer too. Vulneration. Let's look that up. Let me see what that is. I'm using it in the Senate. My vulneration is broken. I lost my vulneration. I might be veneration. No. Veneration. Yeah. Great respect or reverence. Oh, that's definitely him. Veneration. The phonics spell it better. They could have spelled it like that the first time. Reverence, respect, great respect. That's what we got to have for him, too. And think about it why people loved him, why people revered him so much because of what he did. He rescued us, he saved someone, he saved a country. That's why he told him he was on the sent his people. He saved a country. We was a gooey. We was a nation. That man came to save a nation. A lot of times we had never looked at what the man did. And that's why people had the kind of respect they had for him. Why wouldn't you have respect for him and reverence the people had? 
He came around one man and told me, he said, he said, listen, I'm a man of authority. I tell people to go and they go, and I tell them to come, they come. He said, I'm not even worried for you to come in my bed, speak the word. And what kind of admiration, respect he had for him. So I'm not worthy. He said, I got authority. And people come when I tell them, and people go when I tell them to go somewhere too. He said, all I ask you to do is speak the word. I know you can do it. They have kind of confidence they had in him. And you know what, what it takes for you to have that kind of confidence in him? What's that? Spirit, Spirit. Spirit, yeah. You want to go through something. That man looked at the respect he had and the honor he had from people that um, served under him. He realized, I'm in no way to the level of where you at. They asked you to come in my house. Just speak. He said, I ain't even worried. Just speak the word. The confidence he had in him. He acknowledged people like that too. And that's what I want us to do. I want us to be people that he will acknowledge because we acknowledge him. I want to acknowledge all of what he's done to get us to this point to not, and not cutting us off when we should have been. And because he'll hop the opposite. He a hot dude. He had recalm upon us. Grant us that concede, that favor, then cut us off. Should have, long time ago. So that's what we want to try to do. We want to try to learn how to walk and how to how to walk in acceptation of what he had. So now, in just hearing that, did it did it seem like Chris answer was a better answer? <laughs> Him and Austin answer. He said uh, Chris Chris and he were pretty good for those at home, but mine was better. But you can see where it makes sense on a lot of ends of how he told us about when it came to Musha. He said he wrote of me. I was the one that was going to stretch my hands on the rod and I was going to divide the young. That's why the people divided. That's why they had a different opinion on what to say. Y'all got it? I'm trying to tell you. It made sense. It also made sense on another end too. Hands, 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 hands. What happened? That's a good, he raised a hand. What's your hand for, Cannon? He ain't answer one all day. Cannon's shocking now. He, now. he knows the stuff now. I get it. Who? One more time. He said, repeat it. I don't know if I can repeat it again. <laughs> Sometimes I repeat. I say some stuff sometime. I say stuff. At least I repeat it again. I said, I don't even know what I just said. But no, I, I was saying it was significant in what he did in dividing the people for another reason, too. Basta got a hand up. Basta. I believe you got it. Tell him why. He divided the people in their language. He divided the people in their language. That's why they left off. See, eventually people left off with him. It was time to go. Remember they told him they can get him down. They were divided. He divided the people and borrowed sheep. Remember they built the towers. Remember all the people were together. They were all one language. <laughs> Remember, everybody considered him being crucified. But when he stretched out his hands when he was up there, the people were divided. He confounded their language. That's why they left off. They wanted to get him down. Remember, they told him they had the Muad coming up. They had to go. How was he going to get himself down if they stayed together? Mm, so, well, guess it all depends about what you're studying. Why do you think the people left him? They had to go. And it makes sense that once the people they kept taking, the people were divided. What do y'all think they did by putting that man up here? Them folks had got themselves a name. None would have been kept back from them people. That was the purpose of why the folk built the first one, remember? They wanted to get them a name. Those people were trying to get the Shamaim. So what do you think he did to stop all those people from getting them? Nothing would have been held back from them. He had to confound their language. Why he told you some of them said he called on all Yahoo? Because everybody heard something different. <laughs> Do y'all understand these people on their way to Shamaim? The man told you nothing would have been held back from them. What were y'all thinking? Nothing would have been kept back from them people. He said, let, me, let us go down and confound their language that they wouldn't be able to stand one another. Now, other, the other said, let him alone. 
Everybody was confused in their language. Somebody heard him say he called out Yahoo. All of them saying, leave him alone. Let's see where he come. Everybody different. They said, man, listen. Man, let's just forget about it. Leave the whole thing alone. Nothing would have been kept back from them people. That's why these people now, everybody saying something different. Because otherwise, listen, you couldn't restrain these people another way. He had to come down and confound the language. These people argue with us and make such a butthole like this self on speaking English when they know it couldn't. They'll tell you the book was translated from somewhere else. How do you feel like you could translate something and be the exact same word of what you translated? It's impossible. You can only get similar words because every language has a discipline. And that can be the difference or the infraction in your conversation. And that's why people won't get it. That's good. Appreciate Mr. Hughes.